One type of reaction that we're going to be looking at are acid-base reactions. We're also going to be looking at gas evolution reactions. So an acid-base reaction is going to end up being a neutralization reaction. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, if something's going to be neutralized, we're going to have to have water in it. So an acid plus a base will give us a salt and water. Do you have to memorize that? No, not necessarily. You just have to know how to identify an acid and how to identify a base. And remember, an acid starts with an H. A base ends in OH. So what would be an example of this? Well, let's say we had hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. You notice that it's a double displacement. If you wanted to, you could just switch out your partners and you would actually end up with HOH -H and NACL. And out of convention, we just write the HOH as H2O. If you left this HOH, I'm okay with that. I don't have any issues. Now, the other one is a gas evolution. So if we have an acid and a compound, we're going to get a gas and a different compound. So let's think about what would be an example for this. Well, if I have hydrochloric acid again, and I add to it Na2SO4, that tells me that I'm going to get a gas and a compound. Well, we know if we have an acid, we're also going to have to get water. So we're going to get water, and then we're going to get SO2, which is a gas, and then we're going to get our salt, which is NaCl. Now, this equation is not balanced, so make sure you understand that this is unbalanced. But it would be good practice for you to go back and actually balance this equation. Now, how do you know if you're going to form a gas? Well, there are a number of types of reactants that give you a gas evolution. The main ones that we're going to be concerned with are the sulfides, the carbonates, the bicarbonates, the sulfites, the bisulfites, and running off the page down here is ammonium.